Axel Fuentes. What's up everybody, Axel Fuentes here, and today we're going to be installing this Apeman C860 dash camera, dual dash camera, on my dad's 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So first I'm going to open it up and very briefly go over what all comes in the box. So first, as we open it up here, we get all the uh, safety information, share your shopping experience, a little thank you note for purchase, instruction manual, which we will need. Just kidding, we're grown men, we don't need instructions over here. So here we have four little boxes, very nice presentation. In this big box we have the cables for power connectivity and for the rear camera connectivity. Uh, I should also mention that this set actually includes two cameras. It includes a front-facing camera and a rear-facing camera. That way, if you get rear-ended by an idiot who's texting and driving, you have all the evidence you need so that you won't have to pay anything. Insurance covers everything. So in this box, we get this obnoxiously long cable, which is to connect the rear camera. We get this crowbar so you can pry back uh, seals in your car so you can run the cables through and hide them away neatly. Uh, no clue what that is, we'll find it in a moment. USB transfer cable for transferring stuff right off the SD card. And the main power cable for the camera. And next box we have the main camera, front facing, complete with the, um, all the protective stuff still on it. We have opened this box a couple times, but we have not, uh, taken anything out. Looks like we'll be needing an SD card, but that's not a problem because we have plenty to go around. And then we have the actual rear camera. Which you can angle up and down as needed. And the suction mount. I mean, unless you want to like duct tape it to the windshield or something like that. So with all that being said, let's get to the installation and see how badly we can screw this up. Okay, I know I just said we're grown men and we don't need the instruction manual, but I'm bringing it anyways. So the cable on the right hand side, the one closest to the right edge of the camera, is for power. This is going up here, going across the roof lining, around here, down the side of the door seal, all the way down to here, and then under the floor mat, back up there, and into the power outlet. And now for the fun part, the rear facing camera. So for this part, I'm actually going to run the cable through first, and then I'm going to install the rear facing camera.
SD card need to format? Why? There we go, now it's recording. So what we're gonna do now is uh, take it on a test drive. And that's it for the test footage, so it looks like this guy does the job as intended. Nice clear camera quality, and you can actually see little details like other vehicles' license plates and small stuff on the side of the road. Now then, the only complaint that I have is with the setup. The setup was just kind of complicated and tedious, but then again, this type of camera system is mostly intended for a small sedan or maybe a small coupe or something cheap and crappy like a Honda Civic. It's not really intended for a Jeep Grand Cherokee, however, it did have the long cables to accommodate for that. And that's all I have to say about the 8-man C680 dual dash cam. Thank you very much for watching this video review, guys, and I will see you next time. Axel Fuentes.